Hello everyone, welcome back to Better Late Than Broke, it's your girl Mo. I have an update on my cash envelope reference sheet and I just want to say thanks to new subscribers and welcome back returning subscribers. So I've made little, um, if you know if that budget could be fun, I'll show you how in this video. But I've made little, uh, sharpie circles <laughs> around the corrections because for one thing let me zoom in some I said that I had 1190 in expenses that was actually the balance left from my income minus the expenses my expenses are actually six hundred and ten dollars and what was left was 190 so that was an oops that I realized later and 285 will be the total for the envelope for the cash envelopes everything stayed the same for sinking funds but here I had to make a few adjustments so credit cards would be 15750 until further notice student loans 11250 until further notice and yeah the total of the expenses is six hundred ten dollars until I lower that darn cable bill and then I want to show you the dead snowball plan, which would be for Citibank. I pay 175, that'll be paid off. Then I roll that 175 over to Bank of America. That would take about two and a half or so payments. I have it lowered, I have it listed below. I'll show you in a moment. For its premiere, I'll pay about three and a half times at 175 and that'll be done. Then for Nordstrom, I'll have to pay about 10 payments of 175 and then one payment of 150 and that should be all taken care of. The total right now is $3,457. And then I have Cap One and Discover. I'm thinking about opening those two just for emergency moving purposes if needed. And then the debt payoff plan, like April I have 175 to take care of city. May would be 175 twice and then 144. Around June first premiere is 175 three times and then one payment of 98. And for July I would just be starting to pay another also I'll just be making minimum payments here, but oh excuse me. Excuse my hand, I'm trying to get back in focus. Okay. And then 10 payments at one seventy five and last payment at one fifty. One second. All right, so that's the credit card payoff debt snowball plan. Then I want to show you a little bit of my moving update or the moving savings tracker. So if you saw my other video, this was the moving out of state fund sheet. I did make a couple of changes where the movers I would say about thirteen fifty, only twenty five for snacks if I do the <laughs> the drive all the way over there. And um, just a few updates down here, where I'd have about a thousand dollar buffer, which they say you have if you're following Dave Ramsey, just have a thousand dollars in the bank as an emergency fund, regardless of if you're moving or what, just for an emergency. So this is the savings tracker I'm using. It's out of the, this one is a big size happy planner budget, um, excuse me, budget extension pack. And so I have three savings goals here. I guess whichever one comes first. 6,000, 8,000, and 10,000. And that'll be from March to next June so this will get filled out as the time goes on so if anyone has any questions